We've got another final score in March Madness to update you on. The Fighting Illini winning in their opening round game over Moorhead State, a 16-point win for them. Terrence Shannon Jr. leading the way with 26 points, but Dane Danger, those 21 points were made up of nine for nine shooting. I would say that is pretty darn efficient. Talking about this game in studio here, and Matt, I have to start with uh, the Illinois offense. Obviously, it's been a storyline throughout this season, but what is it that makes them so dangerous based on what you saw today? Well, let's first off, Let's give credit to Moorhead State just in terms of how hard they played. And they were in this game. It was a one-point game yeah. at the half. We didn't know where this was <laughs> going. And then Illinois really started to flex their muscles. 24 assists on 32 made field goals. That's the talent that's out there on the floor for this Illinois team. We're getting a matchup of really conflicting styles in the second round with them and Duquesne. But the offense was outstanding. Five guys in double figures for this team, led by Terrence Shannon, who his talent level, his ability to straight line drive and get in the lane and finish. He had some miraculous finishes, took on the contact, had a bunch of and ones in this game, ends up going for 26 points, three for nine, from the three-point line. Uh, how about Damask? 12 points, 10, 11 rebounds, excuse me, and 10 assists. You got a triple-double from Damask in this game. Huge part of those 24 assists. That was coming from everybody. You're reading through the box score. There's so many guys worth highlighting. But I want to highlight what you mentioned. This was a one-point game at the half. It was a two-point game with 13.30 to go. And then something changed. What was it? Well, something. They just cranked it up a notch. Look, it's the NCAA tournament. I don't care how many games you've won in the regular season. I don't care how many, you know, tight games you've been in. There's a different feeling when you walk in that arena and you see the logos and you see the water cups and the towels and everything. It's just a different feeling. They settled in. They settled in the second half. I think we'll see a lot of games, especially with higher seeds that are close in the first half. And then talent, athleticism, shot making. Generally in the NCAA tournament, it takes over. Again, if you're going to knock off one of these top seeds, you got to make a boatload of threes. Moorhead State makes 11. The problem is Illinois was clicking on all cylinders on the offensive end of the floor. Here's the biggest question mark for this Illini team. Can they get enough stops? Can they get enough stops to make a deep run? I'm not talking about just the Sweet 16. They have the talent in their starting five and the depth to make a run to the Final Four. The only thing that's going to hinder that run is the defensive end of the floor. Defensive end of the floor. And you always say, you know, does defense travel? We'll see if it travels to the round of 32. That's where they are headed, set to face the upset-minded Duquesne. You mentioned the contrasting styles. Styles make fights. What do you think of this one early on? Well, it's going to be interesting. And I thought BYU, their ability to space out the floor and make a bunch of threes was going to be the difference that maker. But that's why my bracket right now, we got a, we got a couple X's going through it. And that's why I'm sitting here talking to you. Yep. <laughs> uh, but, I, you know, I think, obviously, Illinois' talent level, is is better than BYU. So Duquesne's has her hands full in trying to slow down this offense. We know this about Duquesne. Their guards are not going to be afraid. They're not going to be scared to play in this game at all. Keith Danbrot, he's already announced his retirement. We said it earlier. It's not time to go fishing. I don't think you're a golfer, Coach Danbrot. I've known <laughs> you for a long time. You need to stay focused. Try to get another win. Tall task to beat this Illinois team. Yeah, you mentioned the fight that the Dukes have. Dambrot said that after the game, pointing towards the little scuffle that they had with BYU. He said, that is what our team is. We're fighters. So looking forward to this matchup coming up on Saturday. As always, your favorite podcasters from the Ion College Basketball Podcast, Matt Norlander and Gary Parrish will have you covered from all of these games and every game throughout the NCAA tournament.